Now, you might think that you know a lot about Brawl Stars, and maybe you do, but I'm betting that you won't know all of these bizarre facts that I'm about to tell you. Now, maybe you've heard the fact that the original concept of Shelly was that she would have a pet chicken with her, and that is true. But did you know that before that, the real original design was that she was going to have a little person or helper follow her around, but the team decided that it was kind of creepy and they nixed it in favor of the chicken, but then decided they didn't like that either, so they took away Shelly's helper, just like they took away something from Lola. Before Lola was released, her tier 70 Brawl Pass skin was not called Rebel Lola like it is now. In fact, even in the developer's build, right before she was released, she was called Chola Lola. Now, a Chola is often known as a Latin American woman involved in street gangs. It was changed because the term might be offensive to some people. And speaking of gangs, back in beta, clubs were not called clubs. They were called bands. The team wanted to change the name of them, and I remember talking to Ryan Lighton about this as he was looking for suggestions on what to call them. One of the suggestions that we all kind of liked was gangs, but since that term kind of has a negative connotation, they didn't go with that one and instead named them clubs. Now, while clubs isn't an offensive name, another thing that's not offensive is what, what Jackie actually says. Now, see, when you hear her, they censor out words and, with the sound of a and jackhammer, and if you're like me, your mind just fills in the blank of what you think she's saying, but in reality, it's like this. Holy fruitcake! Or like this. Shoes and hats and coats and also dresses! And speaking of Jackie, did you know Jackie Chan is in the game? Fang's character was inspired by a real-life person and movie star named Jackie Chan. Not only is Jackie Chan a martial arts movie star, but Jackie Chan's surname actually translates to Fang. I know, I know, Jackie Chan is kind of old school, but so is OG Barley. You OG players might remember that Barley used to be able to compress his entire super down into one single spot rather than having it spread out like it is now. If he got near a high safe, he could deal 45% of the entire safe's damage with one super. It was kind of broken just like Crow's Poison was broken one time too. Now, not that long ago, there was a bug in the game that allowed Crow's Poisons to stack, dealing massive damage from all of his poison daggers. This left the tick damage to decimate enemies. It was, however, only possible if you were using his Captain Crow skin, and I don't know why that skin triggered the bug, but it was pretty fun while it lasted. But what didn't last that long was that Primo's attack used to be a cone shape rather than a straight line like it is now. Now this was back in beta and Primo was really strong with it, but not nearly as strong as he is now because it was also around this time before Global that El Primo had less than 1500 hit points. It wasn't just him as every brawler in the game got their health and damage stats multiplied by four. Another thing that was changed back in beta was Crow's Super. Crow's Super is really fast and he can leap places in a blink of an eye, but years ago it was much different. He would hang out in the air for a long time before finally coming down. Now, while it was cool to just chill in the air that long, people could easily get out of the way and it wasn't near as scary as the current version, so they nerfed how high the super went. But nerf is a word that one brawler doesn't even remember because Dynamite has not received a single nerf since the game launched globally in 2018. Now there have been some changes that felt like nerfs in some ways, like his double jump, but statistically, Dynamite has gotten nothing but buffs for the past four years. But that isn't the only interesting thing about Dynamite. See, you know that canary under Mike's hat? Well, all of his skins have them, and some of them even look different. However, his moldy Mike skin is the only one where the canary is not there. Probably couldn't stand the smell. It's just my guess. But that's not the only thing in the game that's no longer there. Gale used to have a star power called Second Wind, where if you used it on your own teammates, it'd give them a speed boost. However, it kind of sucked. Nobody used it, and they removed it. Another thing that's been missing for a long time is coin boosters. You see, back in beta, you could purchase a booster that would double the amount of coins that you won. I honestly could really use that right about now on my free-to-play. But another thing that I could have used back in beta 
was the color orange. And no, it's not because I needed a prison jumpsuit. That's because that when you get a legendary these days, it's like a golden yellow color. But back in beta, the lucky color was more orange. And finally, Poco used to have a star power called Swan Song before it was removed. What happened was when Poco died, he would send out one huge last blast and a huge AOE healing all of his teammates. But since you only got to see its effects when you died, and that's not fun, it was changed to Decapo. Now, Poco star power may have gotten removed, but Poco himself is still held in the mind and the phone of another brawler. Now, if you spin M's around and zoom in on her phone, you'll notice that she has a picture of Poco in there. And while you have to spin M's around to find that small detail, I never noticed until recently that when BB gets her charge meter full, her bat, whose name is Mr. Bat, starts spinning as well. Just imagine getting hit in the face with a spinning bat. That would easily be enough to knock your teeth out which might explain what happened to Piper. This profile icon went into the game and stayed that way for a full update before the team fixed it and handed her teeth back to her. Maybe she didn't even need those teeth because another thing that she doesn't need is her eyes. When Piper fires a shot in game, she actually closes her eyes when she fires the shot, which gives a whole new meaning to no scoping someone, but her gunbrella isn't the only weapon that Piper has. She actually has a pistol as well. Now you might have seen the icon on her auto aimer gadget and not thought twice about but it. But when you actually use that gadget, she pulls out a hidden pistol and fires out a single shot from it. That, my friends, is impressive. And it's no wonder why Rico has a huge crush on her, but he's not the only one who has the hots for another brawler. There are other brawlers who have love interests in the game as well. For instance, you probably know that Belle and Sam are married if you watched my last video like this. But did you know, when I interviewed the voice actor for Fang, he let us in on a little secret from the developers. Um, something about possibly having a crush on Shelly, I don't know. And I oh. like Shelly. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, possibly, this... possibly, possibly, man. Now that's all that the developers really said about that possible relationship, but the voice actor Nicholas Contreras did more than just voice act Fang. I'm popping off, losers! Nicholas joins the ranks of Sandra Take Espinosa and Kai Strotsky as having the distinction of being able to voice more than one brawler in the game. That's because Nicholas is the voice of Cordelius, the most recent brawler in the game. However, these voice actors are not always what they seem. You see, it's quite often that when you hear a voice actor in the animations that Brawl Stars puts out, the voice actor in that animation is different than the voice actor in the so game. Annoying. While the late great Billy Komets is the voice not actor the for Colt in game, he was not the voice actor for the Colt in the No Time to Explain video. What is this place? And actually, I don't think any of the voice actors in that video are the same as in game. Similarly, in the Mortis's Mortuary animation, Mortis in that is not Ed Mace, the Mortis that we know and love, but someone else entirely. Mort, one last request. Hat or no hat? And speaking of voice lines, some of the voice lines for the brawlers in game are in a language other than English, and one of them is Grom. You see, Grom has two lines that are not in English, but rather Russian. Now, Grom's name is actually translated to be Thunder in Russian, which makes sense since he throws bombs and bombs exploding could sound like thunder, but one of his voice lines actually directly translates to tree sticks. That, however, is just sort of a slang for holy cow or even sometimes holy shit. Now, I know you're thinking the game's saying dirty words, but another brawler is all about being dirty. Ash is a literal trash can and he calls himself so manky, manky, which is a Scottish term for filthy or dirty. But did you know that the character Ash is actually an homage to the man who created not only him, but also the entire Brawl Stars IP? Paul Chambers is his name, and if you spin Ash around, he has a little symbol drawn on him that is a reference to Paul. To take it even further, Paul himself is Scottish, and Ash was the very last brawler that he designed for the game before leaving Supercell to work elsewhere. Now, you might think that that's just like a bit egotistical to make a brawler after yourself, but I can promise you it's not nearly as egotistical as a brawler in game. And while Lola loves looking at herself in the mirror, Serge just loves Surge, screaming Surge, his Surge, own Surge, name. Surge, Surge, Surge! Looking at all of Serge's voice lines, he yells his own name or a variation of it 18 times. No other brawler comes close to that number. The more you know.